Welcome to Wesley Impact on this great Easter day, which is a focus of all we do as Christians. And because Jesus Christ has been raised from the dead, we have always got hope. Join us as Wesley Impact takes on a somewhat different shape today. I'm going to introduce you to familiar songs sung by some of our popular guests, and I hope they help make your Easter just come alive. To get us started, we begin with our own musical director of, of Wesley Impact, Craig Gower, singing Holy One of God. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ speaks to us today. Christians have found Easter to somehow make sense of our experience of life, death, and what lies beyond. Welcome now, Sancha Prowse, with I Stand Amazed in the Presence. This old gospel hymn will raise your thinking. And we know how wonderful it is to be able to sing those words about how wonderful, how marvellous is God's love. Now, Charles Gabriel was a great hymn writer from North America, and he picks up some of the dramatic moments in this hymn in the Garden of Gethsemane.
The next offering to inspire us on this Easter day is a much more modern piece. It's a song written in the late 1990s. Matt Redman, the author, says it came at a time when in his home church in Watford in England, they went through a time of apathy. Despite making a huge contribution to what the church was doing at that time in terms of renewal of worship across Britain, the church itself hit difficult times. The minister did something quite unimaginable for many congregations. He decided to get rid of all the sound system, all the worship band, and saw it as a way of allowing people to get back to the heart of what really matters. After some quiet embarrassment at first, eventually God came back into the experience of worship in a quite remarkable way. Redmond remembers writing this song quite specifically and very quickly. We have Deborah Byrne, an Aussie treasure, who's going to sing this for us, a piece written as a result of the renewal in that church. It's called Heart of Worship.
A moving experience when we made the film John Wesley, The Man and His Mission, was to film in Charles Wesley's house. We always begin the Opera House service on Easter Day with the great hymn, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Here's another of Charles's hymns, Love Divine or Love's Excelling. It's a marvellous hymn, and we've got, especially for you, we've got Mark Vincent to sing this for us. Love Divine or Love's Excelling. We've had some great moments in our services from the Opera House on Easter Day, which is soon to be broadcast. Now, in those services, I can think back of interviews and songs and guests, but a highlight for me was when we sang a traditional hymn, and Daniel Kay, who's twice sung at the Opera House for us and many times on the show, led us with the song, Up From The Grave He Arose.
Well, I hope you're under no illusions that it's Easter Day. Let me read to you some words from 1 Corinthians 15, probably the, some of the earliest account of resurrection in the New Testament, written to the early Christian community. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 17 through to 21. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You're still in your sins. Then those who also have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life, we have hope in Christ. We are of all people most to be pitied. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who've fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead also came through a man. Paul draws our attention to the consequences of what would be the case if Jesus Christ had not been raised from the dead. The faith that we have would be futile and we'd still be living in our sins. Futility is one of those difficult human experiences, that, that sense of there's no purpose in what we do, it's all a waste of time, it's a waste of space, but the reality is that because Christ has been raised, we have a purpose and a meaning in life. In effect, the awful outcome would have been that we would neither have forgiveness for the present nor would we have hope for the future. Now, those two things are so important that it is something that we receive now in forgiveness and life and peace, but we look to the future. We anticipate the greatest gift of all. Now, I know Christmas is for many people a favourite time of the year, but for the Christian, Easter caps it all. This is the time when we somehow feel that wonderful power and grace that comes because Jesus has died on the cross for us. And through his death, we now open a door on resurrection because that resurrection is what makes all the difference. So Easter will always be to me something far more important than bunnies and Easter eggs. It is the very heart of our Christian faith. And so we want to be a community sharing that faith with other people. 
I don't know where you are this Easter day, but I do know this, that God in Jesus Christ longs to speak into your heart and into your life, to lift you from where you are to a new place so that we might be able to say, made like him, like him we rise, so that resurrection becomes not only something we observe as we look at Jesus Christ, but something that we actually know in our own experience. When that happens, Easter becomes more than, more than a formality, certainly far more than just a religious ceremony. It is at the heart of everything that we do. Because Christ has been raised from the dead, we have, of all people, the most to be thankful for. And so we shall share the Easter greeting in the Opera House, that Christ has been raised. Can I then extend to you a very happy Easter? And such happiness is not shallow, but comes as a result of the most marvellous gift of all, the gift of God, the gift of eternal life, the gift that is ours because of this very day, a very happy and glorious Easter. If you would like to know more about today's topic or for more on Keith's message, contact Keith by writing to Wesley Mission, Post Office Box A5555, Sydney South 1235 or email impacttv at wesleymission.org.au. Many thanks for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed this very different kind of Wesley Impact on a special Easter edition. Now, if you're on Channel 9, you certainly want to stay with us because in just a few moments, I'll be back with the annual Easter sunrise service. It's a marvellous day for all of us, live from the, the Sydney Opera House. Marvellous guests, great singing, the opportunity to really enjoy and celebrate what Easter is all about. This is something I always look forward to and I long to sharing it with you. And so it's goodbye and may God richly bless you and don't don't forget, this is the day of God's great resurrection in Christ. Goodbye and God bless you.